Hello and welcome back to another episode of Road to R9. It is now episode 5. In today's episode is my first weekend league for EAFC 24. So it's my gameplay and rewards. So let's get into it. Okay, so into the gameplay we go. All my champs. Now, there's about 4 minutes. I've actually cut quite a few of the goals because if I did keep them all in... There's genuinely about 10 minutes of gameplay and I want to keep these episodes nice and quick paced. But with that being said, my discussion point for today is champs rewards. Now, for me personally, I think we've actually gone backwards with them, especially as last year from rank 5, you would get a premium team of the week pack and your red picks, obviously. But now you get instead four 84 plus player picks, which if you get three 84s, you're genuinely looking at like 3,000 worth of just players, fodder, whatever you want to call it. So there's no real value to them. Then your premium team of the week pack is now two 85s. Well, not necessarily 285s, but it's an 85 times 2. And that pack genuinely has no value. So the only things they've kept is the rare players pack and the ultimate pack. They're perfectly fine. I just think they've ruined it that we have no red picks. It, it was just one of the points of playing champs was that you were earning an untradeable red version of informs. Whereas now, we don't even get that pleasure. It is purely sweating to get 11 wins for pretty much nothing anymore. And it's disappointing because trying to do a series like this where you're trying to make as many coins as possible it just really doesn't help because if you get to rank 5 every single week then you were pretty much guaranteed 50k minimum from the coins and the packs so the fact that now your player picks are just 3 times 84 or an 84 plus player pick I just think it's pretty abysmal to be honest but it is what it is and then in terms of the gameplay fortunately I didn't play it when everyone was spamming the tricks the plus silliness I mean it's just EA being EA again because everyone's going oh it's a new era it really isn't it's just the same old mess and this has proven it and people are trying to say there should be compensation if you played on Friday if you knew it was happening, I don't really know why you played. But from the gameplay, my big win this week was Inform Taliska. He's absolutely fantastic. And with that being said, I'll be back with my champs rewards very shortly. Okay, so in tomorrow rewards we go. I did get rank 5, and as I said, you get the one of three 84 plus player picks. My first was in Kunku, then Trap, and then finally, I was going to take Rafinha, but then I thought, I have Malcolm, so there's no point, so I'll take Stones for rating. Then my 50k pack, I got Jack Grealish. I mean, at this point, I don't really know how he's an 85, but that's up for discussion. Then I decided to go for the ultimate pack. And when I saw Welsh centre mid, I was like, this has to be a woman because God knows who that is. And then into the final, which is an 85 times 2. Did I get anything good? Eh, I mean, it's just mediocre at best. Just to round off the episode, 
as you can see the team on the screen this is what it looks like after champs now i do know that danilo and Teles i do need to upgrade but it's about playing evo lounge and i'll get around to it but this is how the team looks the only difference was i didn't have blanc i was able to complete him with my rewards but otherwise it was just bremer now my two standout players that i found Inform Taliska, absolutely fantastic, just completely cracked on this game, don't really know why, he runs like a giraffe and no one seems to be able to stop him. Then my second player is Trailblazers Danilo, he's absolutely fantastic as a right back. Now I was using the 70 rated Souza. this Danilo's 10 times better and I would highly recommend going and picking him up. I think he's around 15k if he's cheaper than that then definitely go and pick him up because he's a fantastic card and then going forward the real players that are going to be changed Jesus is going to be for storyline Cunha and then Jafinho I definitely want to get Neymar but Neymar is about 260k so I'm about 130k off at the moment but otherwise I think this team's actually really solid Mateus is definitely my weakest link, but even if I upgraded to Allison or Edison, I still think I'm just going to concede some of the most pathetic goals you'll ever see. I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of Road to R9. If you did enjoy it, drop a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new, but for now, I'll see you in the next one.